Hey family, it's Patricia. I have a big old box of Scentsy Empty, so let's get into it. Hey, it seems like every time I come to you guys, it's because I have like half a zillion things. The box just won't even close anymore. I got a lot, so like I said, we're just gonna jump straight into it. So the first one that is teetering on the edge is um this one is sparkling spiced citrus and i do believe i enjoyed this one it's been a minute for some of these guys yeah just a beautiful beautiful orangey citrus fragrance really really pretty like that one a lot um one of my favorites that is pink berry um pink berry sandalwood this is the one that smells, gives you a little Lost Cherry by Tom Ford vibes. Love that. Very soft, sensual, yummy, yummy scent. This one, Lord of the Rings. My husband is a fan, so as soon, oh, my nails match. Y'all know I just love it when the nails match the packaging. Um forgot what I was going to say. As soon as I got this, I let my husband smell it. Like I said, he's a fan. It's lush. It's green. It's pretty. It just smells. It gives you enchanted forest vibes. And he was a big fan of this. So I might go ahead and put this in the club. Um, next, cocoa lime. You guys know what an amazing scent this is. It's lime and um, just... Mm, so so loud this one will light the house up it's a good one you know you can put this on in one room you can smell it approaching the room before you get in the room it is absolutely amazing another we just had a day of bangers i remember when i put these on and that's the reason why i'm grabbing them all at the same time Bonfire Beach. So I had Cocoa Lime going in one room, had Bonfire Beach going in another room. This is the, as you guys know, the Bath and Body Works candle. And mm, um, I always forget the name of the candle. What is it? It's um Marshmallow Fireside. It gives you that, but maybe just a whisper more perf perfumey -er, if that's a word love this so much if you are looking for something super strong this one is it um peaks and i'm trying to do this one out the readers y'all where are the readers um peaks and pines right here and this one is nice as well Kind of um, woody, foresty, I mean, of course, pine scent. I like this one. This one will definitely get you in the mood for fall and winter. Um, Spooky but sweet. This one was a favorite of the scent of the month. I had someone, as soon as she smelt it, she called back and was like, I need three bars of this. I mean, if you're into yummy, desserty type um, scents, then this will be your jam. And she absolutely loved it. Not my cup of tea per se, but, you know, if you're into the food scents, this one is for you. Um, day on the field. You guys know I love a masculine scent. Oh, this is so good. It just kind of gives you aftershave vibes. Love, love, love. Y'all know how we, we roll over here. Uh, berry apple shortbread. And this, this was nice. Uh, kind of gives me winter berry apple tea mixed with a bready note. I like it. So if you think you would like those, the combination the description of those two put together that would be this um province lavender this one i think is in my club 
it's just a beautiful lavender scent. It's not as herbal as, um, oh, what's the other lavender scent? It's a very herbal lavender, French lavender. It's not as herbally spa-like as that. It's just really, really pretty. Just has maybe a whisper of a powdery note in it. So, so nice. Um, very good pumpkin. And smells like pumpkin and berries. Nice. Not exactly my cup of tea, but if you're a pumpkin fan and you like berries, yeah. Uh, this one is hay rides now this one was the one i was most scared of i told you guys when i warmed the new scents i was like do i want to be smelling like i'm on a hay ride in the back of a horse no but or mule or whatever this turned out to be really nice i was pleasantly pleasantly surprised i can't even really give you a description of what it smells like now but I have posted a video of the post-warm review. I will probably try and put it above somewhere so you guys can see that. But this turned out to really surprise me. Uh, let's see. Next is Leaves and Lavender. Now, this one I had high hopes for because I love lavender. To me, this was kind of meh. So, give me your thoughts on it. Um, Vanilla Amber. This is absolutely beautiful for all you guys that love vanilla like me. And you just want something to add. Because you know vanilla can be very hard to smell. Um, it can kind of just fade into the background. And then you're like, where did it go? Yeah, but this one is really nice. It smells like a body care product. I am hoping that they are going to bring this back in body care. Cincy, if you're listening, come on now. Next is, you know we are going all the way back. I got some of everything in this box, y'all. This is Disgust, and it is from the, um, I was getting ready to say the Turning Green Collection. Uh, y'all know what collection it is. I don't know why it's escaping me. Um. I can see the whole layout in my head, but yeah, it's from this collection. I cannot wait to see um, part two of this. Why am I forgetting the name of this collection, y'all? Um, I know it's the emotions. I'll put it somewhere in the video, y'all, because I'm just like brain dead for some reason. But um, all of these smelled really good. They smelled like what they were supposed to smell like. Was it groundbreaking? No, but it's still a nice scent. So this was the green one. It, it you know, smells like green apple. Um, wild cherry and Sakura. This one. Mm, this is so pretty. It's a beautiful soft cherry scent. So it's not cherry like cough syrup, cough medicine. Soft, beautiful. Mm, sexy. Once again, we need some body care in this. Scentsy, please and thank you. Um, apple spice season? Apple spice season. And this is, this is the one I thought was going to be red hot. It is red hot, but it's not red hot like choking you, stifling you. I was really, really, really shocked. And how much I enjoyed this one. Of course, Hubby liked it because Hubby likes some red hot stuff. Um, this is red hot esque. So it's red hot, but for some reason it does not bother me. And you guys know I cannot do red hot. So if you were scared of this one, pick it up. Next is gingerbread pecan waffles. Um, once again, if you're a foodie, you're going to dig it. Smells exactly like what it is. So if you want your house to smell like IHOP, here you go. Waffle House, whatever. Um, brown butter pumpkin. Yep, 
foodies unite this this is for you not my cup of tea once again i'm just not the person that likes my house smelling like food my husband's kind of the same way we ain't trying to be hungry over here like we gaining enough weight we don't need to be smelling food the whole time that we burning warming wax I did a candle review on TikTok for um, those of you that like um, the Homeworks candles. I have an affiliate code. If you're interested, I will pop it below. But um, that's why I kind of have burning still on the brain because I just did that yesterday. Um, lemon lavender. And very nice. This was a, a nice mixture of both. I was really, really shocked by this because it was like the perfect even amount of both. One did not overpower the other. Um, pistachio woods. Now I know everybody was thinking this was gonna smell like Sol de Janeiro. It does not. This is very, very nutty. It just comes off very 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 nutty black tie affair you guys know once again we love a masculine leading fragrance this just gives me like aftershave cologne um like a jazz club with a great smelling man and they're smoking cigars cigarettes maybe drinking some bourbon and old-fashioned something like that it smells like all of that it kind of almost gives me, um, remember Hemingway, um, used to be in my club when I got rid of my club, I lost it. Of course, it'll come back at some point, but it kind of gives me Hemingway-esque vibes. Um, open air exploring, once again, masculine collection. Mm, so, so good. Love. Um, Dark Harbor, one of my favorites. I do believe this is in my club. It came back for Bring Back My Bar. Absolutely love it. Is it the best performer? Not so much. Day one, outstanding. Day two, meh. But it smells so good on day one. I do not care. Um, this one is Pumpkin Roll. Absolute classic of the, um, fall winter season it smells just like what it is a yummy pumpkin roll next is alpine escape and smells like um christmas trees yeah it smells like kind of like a hobby lobby mixed with christmas trees yeah you get that kind of crafty scent that goes along with the holidays, along with tree. This one is joy, 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 joy. And this one smells like lemons. Good smelling scent. Like I said, this whole collection was not exactly a revolutionary collection. It was simple, but it was great smelling scent. Um, white peach and cranberry. This was very, very peachy. Like, if you don't like peach, don't get this one because this is peach slapping you upside the head. I did enjoy it, though. Um, pumpkin sticky bun. Once again, if you're a foodie, you're going to dig it. Smells like what it is. Pumpkin sticky buns. Um... Hollow Harvest. I don't remember what this one smells like. Ooh, it smells good. It almost smells like... Like an air freshener. Almost like a bathroom spray and potpourri mixed together. Sounds crazy, but it smells really, really good. We're still digging in the box, y'all. Um, Mystery Man. I just had to get this one. I grabbed a bunch of scents recently. I think I might have closed out a party or something. It was like, 
let me go get some throwbacks that, you know, stuff that's just in the catalog and you always ignore it because, you know, it's always going to be in the catalog. I was like, let me just get this. Mystery Man's just the classic um, Scentsy Mayo scent. This smells like a great smelling man. I mean, this is a no brainer. Just, just get it. It's been in the catalog since the dinosaurs for a reason. It is everything. Um, rum, pum, plum. I was trying not to have a tongue twister. Sweet bakery berry scent. Love, love. Um, this one is balsam spice. Balsam spice? Balsam spice. I was not prepared, y'all. I don't, there's not a reader. I was going to say there's not a reader in sight. There is one, but then I'd have to get up. And who wants to do that? Yeah, it smells like Christmas trees with a little cinnamon. Next is evening sky. And just a beautiful, light, pretty scent. Um, this one is Blackberry Meringue. 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 Sorry, y'all. This doesn't do anything for me, and I'm so sad because so many people wanted this to come back, and I was so excited to get it. For me, it's just kind of meh. Give me your thoughts below. Are you a fan? Are you obsessed or no? Um, this one is the, um sadness bar and this one inside out <sighs> that was gonna kill me until it just released from my brain yeah this one's nice very aquatic oh uh, next one is shaka did we do this one already i don't know so so pretty i think this one is in my club also this was a bring back my bar so glad i picked this up everyone was hyping it up to the moon i see why okay this one is welcome to imagination land also from the collection and this was the bubble gum scent but it wasn't overly bubble gum bubble gum can be like sickeningly sweet and just like saccharin just like choking you out I was so glad that this was not overly sweet. This was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Next one is Cherry Chestnut. And this one, this one is giving you cherry. It's kind of like a, a muddle, kind of muted cherry. It's kind of soft. It's kind of um, cherry mixed with a little like a soft musk or something. Really soft, really pretty. I enjoy this one. And the last one in the box is um, Spiced spiced and Spirited. This one did absolutely nothing for me on cold and really not that much for me on warm either. So that's it. I tried to go as fast as possible. This was a lot. I knew it was gonna be a lot, so Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. If there are things that you would like me to pick up that you want to hear my thoughts on from Scentsy, comment that below as well. And I would be more than happy to pick it up and share my thoughts with you. Remember, there is a join special this month. If you have any questions, comment below. DM me. You guys know where to reach me everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, on here, email, whatever. I'm always, you know, ready to talk to you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.